Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. Let's go to Big Cannon. Uh, this is where we're actually going to experience another special type of stage. Oh, jeez, they got two in a row. Hmm? Well, I mean, they had Red Hill in between. Oh, okay. so. so this is Bomber Jet. Bomber Jet? Mm-hmm. Bomber Jet? Yeah. Bomber Jet? Whoa. Whoa. You're pulling my leg here, aren't you? Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, why is he always, he's always, like, running from it, like, oh, God, don't let it get me! No, please! <laughs> I think it's supposed to, like... Uh, I, I, I guess maybe he's, like, getting a running start. Or... Yeah, because Seems it's... like it'd be easier just to, like, put it on his back. Anywho, the difference between, if you might be wondering, this looks a lot like the water one. Difference is, is I can't stop moving. Oh, that's not good. You missed one of the power-ups. No, it's fine. These, these stages, these jet stages are always ones where there's more points than you actually need. I guess that's kind of them. They go back and forth between, like, being generous and like, no, you gotta get every single thing. Now, I can do a little break by pressing B, and I can speed up by pressing A, and you throw bombs with R. So, do you, whenever you break, does it completely stop you or just slow you down? It com Actually, yeah, it completely stops you for a little bit. Oh, uh, but you can only do it for right a couple seconds. Get the, what is that thing? It it's like, like a pot. It, it's a little generator that creates like a beam. Oh, okay. These look like uh, you remember the that bird in the rain in the the Rudolph movie. Um, the shiny New Year. Uh -oh. Egon. Remember the old the old uh, bird uh, stole the baby or something. I think it wasn't it wasn't like the regular Rudolph movie. It was the the, the New Year's one that everyone's like probably seen, but they don't like as much as the regular one. Because there's a sorry. baby in it. It's, uh... Gosh. I can't remember what the significance of the baby... The baby was important for some reason. It was like... I think it was like Father Time's kid or something. Even though Father Time, like... There was no lady that Father Time supposedly had this kid with. So I don't know if he just, like... Materialized a kid for himself. Maybe he wasn't oh, even geez. really to, to, to Father Time. Okay, yeah. This is a mid-boss. Oh, he's a ring. Yeah. A big old Cheerio. There we go, got him. Nice. Is there going to be a boss boss at the end of this level? Yeah, there's another mid boss at the end of this. Get the extra life. You got it. You won. Okay. You beat the level. No, I didn't. No. I want this and this. Okay. Nice. Trying to get as many points as possible. Yeah, because, again, we don't know exactly how many we need until the end of the level. Careful. I don't know. I don't know why I said careful. You weren't really near any enemy. Get it. Get the heart. You did it. If this was Castlevania. All that would let you do is throw an axe for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Castlevania. If you don't like, just know off the bat that the hearts give you ammo for your special weapons. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. Because you'd be playing and you're like, oh, a heart. That obviously gives me more life. And it's like, no. We're at the boss, no, by the way. This is big oh. cannon. He, he got a whole level named after him. He must be pretty... He must be something. He looks kind of like an elephant. Well, I mean, I guess the only thing elephant-like about him is that... The turret? He has a, has a long nose. Oh, it's a turret, though. Like a tank? Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, see? There was, like... I think there's probably, like, in the 10,000s levels of points in that stage, but I only needed to get... So, uh... Well... Oh. Now we're gonna go to Darkwood. Darkwood. Remember that the there's this one neighborhood called Morningwood. Have you seen it before? I know there's an enemy in Terraria that's called Morningwood. Oh, that's funny. That's an enemy, I think. Yeah. Oh, Stumpy. Yep. Oh gosh, he's got a frightening face. There we go. By the way, the the thing about this stage is that there are tornadoes in it. White ones don't hurt you, but the red ones do. Oh, okay. So the white ones just kind of launch you? Yeah. What, would, what did that give you? The little, bu little blue thing? That's the little nebula thing right there. Oh, okay. You, it's, one of the, it's one of the collectibles you need to get 100%. Okay. Does it count towards your points? Yeah, but like I said before, in um, the earlier stages where we got like... Like, that's with the score we needed, plus 50 points. Okay. Um, because they don't respawn once you collect them, so... Oh, uh, so you'd still have to be able to get a rank 5 after you've gotten them. Right. Makes sense. 
But I guess that's kind of like your indicator that there's one in that level. Careful. Jeff, I wish it was that easy to tell which bad tornadoes were bad tornadoes in real life. <laughs> All tornadoes are bad in real life. He's like watching the weatherman. He's like, it's all right. It's a white tornado. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it. <laughs> just look outside and see the old lady next door just like flying around it. Wee! <laughs> and another one's you're like, the tornado. It looks red. Old lady, get down from there. She's <laughs> like, no, it's fine. And then she dies. Oh, that's sad. Yep. All happy stories and bad. Like, oh, oh no, geez. that's fine. Get the Game Boy. Nope. <laughs> you know why I'm not. Get the knockoff Game Boy. Nope. The Game Man. It almost just sounds like you're saying "Gay Man." <laughs> <laughs> gay Man, won't you listen to me? <laughs> I said, Gay Man. Jimmy, are you playing with that Gay Man again? <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna let the awkward silence hang out for a yeah. little bit. <laughs> just the, the sound effect on its own is more than enough. I don't know, I'll just put some <laughs> cricket trips in or something. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Careful! It was a red tornado that could have killed you. Actually, I didn't need to technically get that. I think the cap on the stage is uh, 2,500, and obviously I had enough because of the nebula thing I collected. You know what's free? Yeah. So someday people, whenever they're writing, like they're in elementary school and they're writing the date, mm -hmm. they put the year as 2,500. That's true. It's crazy. If the Earth isn't... I mean, I, I feel like we got at least 500 more, yeah. Yeah. Unless... unless yep. I mean, thing is, meteorites, those are the only thing we can't just, like, see coming. I yeah. Mean, I guess we can see them coming, but it's one of the things where we can't do a whole lot. It's like, well, it's, it's a big rock. <laughs> Speaking of rocks, you remember when we were playing Bombing World and I said there was an enemy in this game that looks a lot like Geodude? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. This is where we will meet him. We're gonna find Geodude? Yeah. Geodude. Okay, do you prefer... You uh, know how in the, the Pokemon games, whenever they, like, play their growls, it's just, like, a little garbled... Right. Like... Yeah. But then in the show, they all just say their own names. Mm-hmm. So, I, I've seen a lot of discussions for, like, the newer Pokemon games, and they're like, why are all their growls still just garbled noise? Shouldn't... Now that there's, like, space to keep all of the sound effects, shouldn't they just, like, have their actual calls from the show? Yeah. But do you really want... Your, P your Pokemon saying their name all the time when you're fighting with them. <laughs> it's like every time you throw out Geodude, he's like, Geodude, yeah, and you're like, oh, go sup. Sign, dog. Sign, Wheezing. <laughs> Coffee. Coughing and wheezing just both sound really dumb. <laughs> Coffee. By the way, that gold heart gives you a full, okay, a full, full health, health up. <laughs> Gives you maximum health. Yeah. Health to the max. Alright, since I explored the bottom floor, I'm going to actually go up to the top section of the stage. Nice. Oh, Watch no, out no. for... That's him, by the way. <laughs> he does look like... Oh, okay, yeah, that's just a Geodude <laughs> ripoff. That's not even like, oh, coincidentally, he looks kind of like... Ge it's like, that's Geodude. It's knockoff Geodude. It's Geoman. That's what it is. Yeah, we'll call him... Ge yeah, Geoman. No, Geobro. Ow! It's not Geo Dude, he's Geo Bro. <laughs> uh, okay, y you know, uh, did you ever hear this rumor? You know, how for a while people said dudes, and then a girl was a dudette. Yeah. Um, did you ever hear the rumor that like dudette may meant a horse off of an elephant's butt? Oh. That was the the story in my own school. It was like, <laughs> did you know that Dudette is actually the name for a horse off of an elephant's butt? Okay, I believed that for quite a while. All right. I'm only just like now thinking to myself, it's probably not true. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because why would anyone ever need a specific name for a hair off of an elephant's butt? True. Like, there's never... Unless they're, like, scientifically significant, like, there's something special about them. Like, ah, this this hair, it's, it has healing properties. We need a name for it. Ah, yes, a dudette. It makes sense. <laughs> yes, the elementals. <laughs> yes, the elementals. We're back on the ground floor, Caleb. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to figure out, because there's a secret area over here. Oh, I'm secret. Trying to... 
remember how to get to it. Please stop grunting, Bomberman. Don't! I'm gonna make fun of him because... There we know. go. Alright, well that was pretty straightforward. If he can't figure out what to do, just blow stuff up. It's the Bomberman way. Okay, we're about to get to another mid-boss. Is it that white stuff on the wall? Ugh, no. Oh, you almost made it all the way around that corner. I just always thought it would be funny if people had, like, jumping physics in real life that they do in platformers. Where once you're in midair, you can just completely control where you're falling. <laughs> and you can just jump out a corner and just kind of slide around it. Oh, it was Geo, Geo Bro the boss? Yeah, there's, it's a, it's Mega Geo Bro. Oh, I didn't realize he was bigger. Oh, that. Oh, he's swole. Look at him. He lifts. He definitely lifts. It's like... Now, that's Geo Man. <laughs> the rest were Geo Bro. I am Geo Man. I crush puny score. <laughs> I crush you. I crush you like peppermint between <laughs> teeth. There we go. Got him. You did it. With plenty of points to spare. Mm-hmm. Right, so you get it. <laughs> Which, uh, if you're wondering why there's so many points... Um, I don't know if you noticed, but in that stage, there are these knife enemies, and if you get in their range, they'll lock onto you, and they'll, like, shoot at you, and when they do that, you don't get the points from defeating them, so in a way, it kind of gives you... It's like a little barrier. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of a barrier. I think some levels, you actually have to make sure you take out at least some of them. Alright. You want to fight Nitrous now, or you want to find the next episode? I mean, we can do it. Let's fight him! Alright, fight versus Nitrous, which... Nitros is basically the dark bombers of this game. Okay. Are there dark dark bombers in it? Oh, wait. Dark bombers were the bad guys in World, right? Yeah. Did they, the... they, they, they only show up in World? No, they show up in, like, several other bombing games. Okay. But not those specific ones, but, like, a new set of dark bombers. And this is Nitros. Okay, so it doesn't have voice acting for the majority of the game, but just, like, little Bo tidbits? Yeah. Like, the only really things I can say is Barman makes noises, and then all the bosses have laughs that they do. It's like Fire Emblem. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't ever hear anyone talk, and just go, Huh? Aha! Uh. Oh, you're fighting him. Okay, so he actually has a very unique fight, in that you see those little special panels on the floor? If he steps on one, he gets to do a special little attack. He runs me a ripper -roo. You know what I'm oh. talking about? How so? Because he hops around, and then depending on where he lands, he can do different things. Similar concept. Do we know how many times we have to hit him, or is it just hit him until he's dead? I mean, I, 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 there is a certain amount of times you have to hit him, but I forgot. Oh, sorry, this is actually a new mechanic. Um, you're wondering, how do you get score based on bosses? You get it based oh, upon... Oh, it's, it's going down. Ah, I see it. jeez. You get it based upon how quickly you take out the boss. So these ones, it does matter time. Yes. Okay. You gotta take out the boss quick. Did you get... Oh, he's coming right at you. He has like a falcon head. Who, who makes Bomberman? Um... Hugs. It's it's not like, like Nintendo or anything. It's not one of theirs, is it? It's... I forgot their name. I feel so terrible. I'll <laughs> look it up for next time. Uh. Because... But they've always... Oh, wait... I was about to say they've always been on Nintendo, and then I realized Bomberman World was on PlayStation. Right. I think they've they've kind of been there. We go. More God. leaning towards. That Nintendo. was pretty bad, though. I don't know if I got the five. We did it. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we did it. Nope. We did not do it, Caleb. Yeah, I told you. You gotta take some of these bosses. You gotta take them out quick. Herman's like, I didn't do it fast enough. Now my family will never love me. Who are you? I've come to take your liver. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a, just sells organs on the black market. Yeah. <laughs> this liver will fetch a high price. <laughs> so basically this is the robot that Princess Mil Million told to hide in the cargo bay, Help whatever. Help Obi-Wan. You are my only hope. So this is basically like, you know, our R2-D2. Yeah, this is our R2-D2. Um, good, good thing we don't have annoying C-3PO. <laughs> Coming in and ruining everything with his cautiousness. What is that? Oh, it's a disc. Mm -hmm. I feel like it'd be really hard to make a robot, like, hold a disc without just shattering <laughs> it. So basically, yeah, the main point of this game is to save the princess. That's very original. I know. <laughs> I feel like, uh, 
I don't know. It, it It's weird now because there's not as many games now where the goal is just to rescue the princess. Yeah. But back then there was a lot of games where that's just what you had to do. Do you want me... I don't... I like, here's the thing. I don't know what bosses... I mean, they got to just... Like, all we have to do is beat them faster. I'll all leave right. it up to you. If you want to fight them again, we can fight them again. I want to try Let's again. Let's do it. We're going for gold. We'll limit it at two. If we can't beat them in two shots on the show... We'll, we'll go ahead and go on, and then we'll come back to him in our free time. Be careful. It's Falco. He's going to L-dash or something, some other. <laughs> <laughs> Wave dash, I think. Wave, I think that's it, what it's called. We, we have a couple of friends that are really into competitive and Smash. And we kind of make fun of them. Because <laughs> we don't know anything about competitive <laughs> Smash. We're just like, you hit the A button and he punches. It is A. Okay, yeah. I get confused because you know how all of the different systems have different buttons? Yeah. Like, obviously PlayStation has X, Square, Circle, and Triangle. But then, uh, how many did we have to get? 7,000? Did it. Oh, it's nice. That was a much better. Yeah. Basically, most of the times it's like, whenever the boss's um, grace period is over, you have to hit them again. Okay, so like right as soon yeah, as yeah, right out. as they're out of that little part where they can't get hit again, you gotta hit them again. It's, it's that twofer. yeah, you gotta do it that fast. Well, we did it. Yeah, we did it that fast. All right, we're on to area three and area one and two. We completely done everything in there, right? Right, as you can see, all fives, all fives. So now we're in area three, which, as you can see, is very short. We gotta fight Endol. Mm -hmm. Endol. So. Endol kind of seems like a like a prescription you would get. Like, <laughs> ask your daughter, doctor. <laughs> your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Little Susie, should I take Endol? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> you ask your doctor, should I take Endol? Why didn't, did you ask your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> did you say it to Wumbo? <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh god, Clown Valley. Why do yeah. we have to go there? Uh, like, I don't dislike clowns, but I hate clowns. <laughs> 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 Alright, when we come back, we're going to Clown Valley. Bye, everybody. See ya.